let's dig into the, the oh, data gosh. part of it. So we really think about this in three columns. So Michael, can you give us some um, details on the identification yeah. side? Yeah, so if you're not familiar, GS1 is kind of a, a standards-based organization. They're the barcode people is kind of my, my tagline for them. I'm sure they have better ways to identify themselves. But so for identify, it's really utilizing industry standards that exist out there today and really honing in on it. And I think we think about the data in a few different ways, right? We think about, item, for me, I'll, I'll distill it down to like item setup, master data management, right? There's some information that we can glean for our traceability FISMA requirements ahead of time, where it doesn't have to be a transactional share every time, right? And it's things like item numbers. So think of a GTIN. That's a standard way of identifying your items. Um, or a global location number for a location we're picking up product or a lock code source, right? So those are key data elements. So um, I would challenge you if to really focus in on those and those standards from identify on the, kind of what I'll say is the master data side. Then transactionally, there's going to be things out there to really help us kind of bring the, the information. We got we have to share from one person to a supplier to a retailer. The next like link in the chain, really, right? So things like SSCC pallet labels are an opportunity to identify a lot. And like I mentioned earlier, there's an industry work group with GS1 and FMI, and there's a lot of great conversations really driving towards from an identify, capture, share, really the idea of kind of consistency across. But there's also a concept, our, our goal is really that we identify from a GS1 standards perspective, but we also know we have some uniqueness as retailers. We purchase product from small suppliers that may or may not be on the list or exempt from the rule. It's a pretty nominal, I think it's a pretty small number, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to understand there's a concept of, we hope that we identify an industry standard from a setup perspective, but we also know we, we might have to meet folks where they're at. 